Hello beautiful community. This week's video involves the restoration of Marcelin Champagne. Marcelin was the founder of the Marsh Brothers and he has been at Assumption College for about 80 years. About eight years ago he made way for a new statue. The new statue is made out of cedar and looks quite good. Marcelin, the concrete statue, was destined for landfill until the maintenance manager David finally relented and let me take poor old Marcelin home. And so the process of restoring Marcelin back to his former glory started. So the process uh, required the statue to be cleaned of all the dirt and the vegetation and then Matt Gibson, a local painter, used a silicon based pressure washer to remove approximately seven layers of paint to bring the statue back to bare concrete. I think any time a student was naughty, he was given a paintbrush and told to paint Marcelin. There certainly was quite a few layers of paint there. So once it was back to the bare concrete, all the cracks and the voids were repaired and an undercoat of paint was applied. The next issue that we had was replacing the broken fingers and thumb. And they were broken there some time ago. I found that my fingers matched Marcelin's perfectly. The only difference was that my fingers were a bit more bent and they're a little bit more knobblier and I'd say it's due to the hard work that my hands have been submitted to over the years. I used a few different types of casting, I used resin, plaster of Paris and finally used clay and they turned out quite nice. I needed to shape them a little bit to get them to fit but they ended up they matched quite nicely. So after that we gave him a final coat of Hames paint and, and just to bring the Marcelin alive a little bit I painted the waistband gold and also the Bible black and it certainly makes him stand out fairly well. Bringing him back to Assumption was a bit of a task. He was 620 kilos and I struggled to get him home as you could probably see at the start of the video. I ended up got help from John Knight and his partner Tony, his business partner Tony. They've got a crane truck and that was a great help to lift it up and bring it back to Assumption. The college and in particular Paul Reed were fantastic in scouting around the college and finding a position that would showcase Marcelin to the community. The position they found was fairly close to the new Neil Danaher Pavilion and he looks towards the main oval and also very close to the boarding houses. So this project is a little bit different from my normal woodworking videos, but I really enjoyed the process. It was very challenging and the final result I was very pleased with. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.